The Ghost of Ndiawa In the quaint village of Banpin, nestled in the heart of a lush forest, a legendary ghost story has been passed down for generations. The ghost, known as Ndiawo, was once a kind and wise elder who lived in the village. He was renowned for his exceptional farming skills, his ability to heal the sick, and his deep understanding of the natural world. Ndiawo's wisdom and compassion earned him the respect and admiration of the villagers, who sought his counsel in times of need. One fateful day, a severe drought hit the land, and the villagers' crops began to wither and die. The villagers were desperate, as their livelihoods depended on the success of their harvests. Ndiawo, determined to find a solution, ventured into the forest to seek guidance from the ancestral spirits. He spent many days and nights in the forest, fasting and meditating, seeking a way to bring life back to the parched earth. Unfortunately, Ndiawo never returned from his journey. The villagers searched far and wide, but found no trace of him. They called out his name, hoping he would answer, but only the wind replied. They searched the forest, the rivers, and the mountains, but Ndiawo was nowhere to be found. The villagers believed that his spirit had been trapped between the world of the living and the dead, and that his ghost roamed the village, seeking to complete his unfinished work. Years went by, and strange occurrences began to happen in Banpin. Crops would mysteriously grow in the dead of night, and the sick would be healed by an unseen force. The villagers would wake up to find their gardens flourishing, with no sign of who had tended to them. They would hear whispers in the wind, guiding them to hidden sources of water and fertile soil. The villagers realized that Ndiawo's ghost was still among them, continuing his valuable contributions to the community. One night, a group of villagers decided to follow the ghostly figure, curious about the source of the mysterious happenings. They tracked Ndiawo's ghost to a hidden garden, teeming with life and fertility. The garden was surrounded by a babbling brook, which flowed from a natural spring. The air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers, and the soil was rich and dark. Ndiawo's ghost was seen tending to the crops, his spirit still dedicated to the well-being of the village. The villagers watched in awe as Ndiawo's ghost worked tirelessly, nurturing the plants and ensuring their growth. They saw him whispering to the trees, and the trees responding by bearing fruit. They saw him dancing in the moonlight, his feet bare and his robes flowing in the wind. The villagers knew that they had stumbled upon something sacred, something that would bring prosperity and abundance to their community. From then on, the villagers revered Ndiawo's ghost, leaving offerings of food and drink in the hidden garden. They would bring their sick and their elderly, hoping that Ndiawo's spirit would heal them. They would bring their seeds and their tools, hoping that Ndiawo's ghost would guide them in their farming. And indeed, the villagers prospered. Their crops grew strong and healthy, their animals flourished, and their children were born with a spark of life in their eyes. As the years passed, the legend of Ndiawo's ghost spread far and wide. People from neighboring villages would come to Banpin, seeking the guidance of the wise and kind spirit. They would bring gifts of honey and milk, hoping to appease Ndiawo's ghost and seek his blessings. And Ndiawo's ghost would oblige, appearing to them in their dreams, guiding them in their endeavors, and protecting them from harm. The villagers of Banpin knew that they owed their prosperity to Ndiawo's ghost. They knew that his spirit still roamed the earth, seeking to complete his unfinished work. And they were grateful for his presence, for his wisdom, and for his love. They knew that as long as Ndiawo's ghost remained, the village would never forget the valuable contributions of the kind and wise Ndiawo. The story of Ndiawo's ghost became a beacon of hope for the villagers, a reminder that even in death, one spirit can continue to make a difference in the world. It reminded them that the natural world is full of mysteries and wonders, and that sometimes, the most unlikely events can bring about the greatest blessings. And so, the villagers continued to honor Ndiawo's ghost, leaving offerings in the hidden garden, and seeking his guidance in times of need. As the generations passed, the legend of Ndiawo's ghost evolved, but its essence remained the same. 
The villagers continued to tell the story of the kind and wise elder, who had given. 